Welcome to Everything is Messy, the podcast. I'm your host, Kellyanne Gorman. I'm someone who loves to create content, products, and services to help others level up in business and in life. I even wrote a book about it, and now I have a store. Everything is Messy is a one-stop shop for women who want it and deserve it all. From personal development to productivity, podcasting and publishing, small business strategies to entrepreneurship, and so much more. Tune in every week to enjoy this one-of-a-kind podcast experience and hear fun, fearless, and focused conversations from myself and my incredible guests from trending topics to stories of resilience and all things business. And let's not forget about a few of my favorites, mindset, healthy recipes, and organizing tips. These episodes are created to get you to where you want to be right now. The purpose of the show is to motivate you, inspire you, and prove to you that anything is possible if you just put in the work. So grab your favorite notebook and pen because it's time to get organized and turn those dreams of yours into reality. I'm living proof that manifesting and visualizing and having a never give up attitude work and now it's my job to help you achieve your goals by doing the same or just to provide some laughs along the way. I'm so glad you are here. Today's episode starts now. Hello, hello, and welcome back to a brand new episode of the Everything is Messy podcast. I'm your host, Kellyanne Gorman, and I'm sitting in my office with the window open. The sun is shining. It is hot in San Diego this week, like mid-80s hot, and today is the first day of fall, which is also very strange, and I just needed to be in here and not my studio with the door shut because I spent a lot of hours traveling in the car and running around Los Angeles yesterday, and I need this fresh breeze. You can probably hear the wind chimes happening outside. Um, The pool's getting cleaned downstairs, and it's pretty peaceful and I need this vibe to record this super exciting episode for you. So as you saw by the title, you're here to get some podcasting information and I am here to give it to you. So the first thing I want to mention is cost. There are so many things on the internet that are wrong when it comes to the cost of your podcast. Now, if you wanted to hire somebody like myself to develop a show, that's a cost. That's an investment. However, If you were going to run a show yourself and start it exactly the way that I did four and a half years ago, your cost is so minimal. So please don't let the money stop you from putting on your show because you want to do something that's fun. You want to expand your brand. You have a really important story to share. Right now, I have this one post on my TikTok and it's literally like 60 seconds and it's sharing my whole misdiagnosis story and it's getting a lot I have way over 100 comments on it right now and it's just getting so much traction and I just want to lead everybody from that post to this show because my entire story is on this podcast this is why I started the podcast because I thought I was going to be blind and paralyzed and at the end of the day all I had left was my voice So I started a podcast. Then I figured out from there how to do everything. And now I have a full-blown production company and done for you services. And now all these other things that I'll talk about later on. But I had no idea what the fuck I was doing. And I've said this so many times. If you scroll back to my very first episode, you will hear that super annoying beeping from the smoke detector that was too high on our ceiling that we couldn't even reach with like a broom handle to change that damn battery. So I remember I used to sit on the couch and I used to record episodes from my iPhone, which right now I'm doing the absolute same thing. My mic is in my studio and I'm sitting at my desk. The window's open, like I mentioned. Now you hear some sirens. You'll probably get used to that once I start recording in New York, but it's just insane. Um, how much there like how much information on the internet is wrong when it comes to podcasting. So I am here to crash those myths and tell you exactly what I paid when I first launched my show four and a half years ago and all of my costs now. And it's not a big difference at all. And I'm being 100% honest with you. I have everything written down in front of me like I usually do when I record. And I just want to share these facts with you because if the money is stopping you, it shouldn't because I had zero budget when I launched my show. So let's just dive right into, I have one, two, three, probably like six or eight topics. So the first one, for launching your podcast is you need a domain. You need to have a website to drive the traffic to. My domain cost me a dollar because I was a new customer with GoDaddy. I opened my account with a new email. 
So my domain, I think it was like 117 with tax. What I pay for my domain every year when I need to renew it is like 20 bucks. That's it. That's my cost for my website for the domain. When it comes time to hosting, you need some way and somehow to upload your show. I'm an affiliate for Blueberry. I can tell you to go to Libsyn. I can tell you to go to Anchor. I can go tell you to go somewhere else. But do you know how many podcasts I've taken from those websites from my clients and developed them and resyndicated them to like 10 to 12 more platforms? That's getting them 10 times the traffic just by using Blueberry. I've done at least six or seven shows, rebranding them and pivoting them and moving them over to Blueberry. Blueberry, I've done so many episodes on this, has the absolute best customer service. They were there with me from day one. And there are so many things that they offer, especially now they just did like a whole revamp of their dashboard. I could not speak any more highly of them. The first month when you register with Blueberry is free, zero cost. Then your monthly cost to host the show, which by the way, they provide you with a free WordPress website. So you're going to go to GoDaddy, buy your .com and forward it to your Go- to your Blueberry website, which is WordPress, like I just mentioned. And that is the new hub, the new home for your show. Just like if you go to kellyannegorman.com, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. Now, once your free month is up, your monthly cost is usually 12. I have a lot of shows. It really goes by file size. So if you're going to record more than one long hour show or two 45-minute shows, most likely you're going to end up having to pay $20 a month. For the longest time, I paid 12 and now I just pay 20 because it's just easier because if I push out like two to four shows a week, the $20 is unlimited and it covers me. Now, as far as recording goes, I feel like everyone who wants a podcast, the first thing they do is try to find like the best microphone. But I'm here to crush that myth and share with you that right now I'm recording on my iPhone and I do it all the time because if my mic is in my, in my studio, I'm just here in my office. Yes, I can go grab it. But most of the time, my episodes are recording on my iPhone. I can run my entire business from my iPhone with the exception of production and uploading. Actually, I think I can even upload from my iPhone, but I prefer to use my desktop. I don't like to do that, especially for my clients. And designing sites. Everything else, my e-commerce brand, my websites, everything is done from my iPhone. I talk about this all of the time on my TikTok. I've been uploading two to three videos every single day. That's where I'm spending a lot of my time these days. No more Instagram. I'm over on TikTok, so if you're looking for a ton of business, LinkedIn, and podcasting content and all of my healthy recipes and all of that, there's so much more, just head on over to my TikTok because it's sitting right there for you. It's all free, just like this podcast. And as far as the recording, I'm using voice memos. It's the app that literally comes with your iPhone. So I highly suggest you start using that. A lot of people use it for meetings and they don't even think twice about using it for their episodes. As long as you know how to produce and make it sound good, even if you don't, what's more important is the story that you're sharing and the content that you're putting out to the world. The more people that you're trying to help, nobody cares. You know, I have a siren that just went off. I'm not going to edit that out because right now my priority is to share this information with you. So this is how I'm doing it right now because I literally... I'm so slammed this week and I don't want to be in my studio right now. I need some fresh air after being in LA yesterday and the content's more important to share. I whipped out my iPhone and here we are. So don't let the price of a microphone hold you back on sharing the message that you want to put out into the universe. Share the message, expand your business, elevate your brand, whatever the reason is, share your funny, crazy stories, like partner up with a friend Record on your voice memos and get your message out. My recording voice memos app is free. The microphone I then invested, my goal was to buy a nice mic when I got my show on iHeartRadio. Now, when I pitched iHeartRadio, this is way before you could just syndicate to their platform. I had to pitch them for months before they even took my show. This was so many years ago, I think three years ago. So when that came, when that time came, I was like, 
when they take my show, that's when I'm going to go to Best Buy and buy my mic. You can buy the same mic that I use on Amazon. It's on my Amazon store. I'll put all these links in the show notes for you, by the way. And that's the mic that I have. It's a beautiful blue. I love navy. It's part of my branding. It always has been. And that's the mic that I chose. That, I think I paid like $120, 125 You can definitely, I've never ever used headphones. Part of the reason was because they give me vertigo with the pressure in my ears. You see so many people using headphones and fancy mics, and I'm telling you, like, you don't need that. Can you upgrade? Can I go out and buy that right now? Absolutely. But I much would rather have my phone on me and go somewhere and record important content that needs to be shared now than have any of that, you know, like having to do any of that. Now, moving on to the music. When it comes to podcasting, you absolutely have to use royalty-free music. I have so many links available, and when I give them to my clients, some of them choose music that costs about like 50 bucks. There are millions and millions and millions of royalty tracks that you can use for your music. Some people don't even use music, and that's totally fine too. It really depends on your style and what kind of show you want to produce, but when it comes to music, royalty tracks you can definitely find something free. And it's crazy because some of my clients, once I send them all these links to choose from, which by the way, there's so many, you can even just Google it. Some of them give me their track in like, I'm not even kidding, five minutes. Myself, I could tell this like rabbit hole. I've said this so many times on the show of listening to like movie scores. Like, I just, I get so involved in the music, and I'm like, okay, it's a podcast. I'm not putting on, like, I'm not producing a track. (laughs) But it's just so fun and, like, exciting, like, and it really helps put the script together. And a lot of the time, the music changes or the script changes, vice versa, depending on what type of show I'm working on with my client or one of mine. So it's totally up to you on where you choose your music, but that can always be free. Now, when it comes to production... Audacity is what I use, and it's completely free software. So it was free before, and it's still free now. The way that I convert my files, so if I, say for example, I filmed a Facebook or Instagram Live or a YouTube vlog, and I wanted to use that audio and turn it into a podcast, that's when you need to convert the file. You can also do the same when you're uploading to YouTube or Facebook or Instagram, which I use apps for, which I'll get into in a minute. But when files um, are sent to me from my clients or how I'm recording on voice memos right now, this needs to be converted to an MP3 because what is coming through my email once I send it to myself is an MP4. Anything video in these voice memos is video. MP4. I need to convert it to MP3, which is audio, in order to produce the track. So in order to do so, I have an MP4 to MP3 converter app on my desktop. I have a PC. They also have it on Macs as well. It was free for years. And then I feel like last year I just started paying. It's through Microsoft. I pay four bucks a month. It's so cheap. That is how I produce my tracks. Now, when you want to start advertising and getting guests and getting sponsors and putting out your information... The best and easiest way to do that is by creating a media kit. Now, I did my own for years. I do my clients. But when it comes to mine now, it's just so much. There's so much involved with my brand and my e-commerce brand that I have teams of people that do a lot of things for me on Fiverr. And I'll link my affiliate code in the show notes because if you're looking for teams for projects for your own online work or social media or whatever it is, Fiverr is the best. I've never had a bad experience. I hired my whole entire book team from Fiverr. There was eight or nine of us, I think. And it was amazing. I've had such a great experience. And I hired my team for my e-commerce site and half of them from Fiverr. So my media kit, I think, yeah, I think I paid $50. $50. And I I always go back to the same people. So, um, the girl that I use for my media kit, we have a great relationship now and I'm like, Hey, I need this updated. And the turnaround time is ridiculous. Like they'll say two to four days, I'll get it in like 24 hours. And if you don't know me by now, I love that way of working. (laughs) So that is the situation for the media kit. Now, when it comes to marketing, I use a couple different apps and websites. So when I repurpose 
these podcast episodes to my YouTube channel or to Instagram, like an IGTV video, those files go through repurpose. The website is repurpose.io. You could do a lot more with them as well. I pay $25 a month because I just like everything covered, but honestly, I think I could be spending 10. Another good point I wanted to share about Blueberry, the company that will host your show that gives you the free WordPress website, that gives you the first month free, that gives you the best customer service. They're always there when you need them. I can tell you that. Is they partnered up with Audio Burst and they can transcribe all of your episodes for you. I don't do that. I just repurpose everything. This is just my method. I could absolutely absolutely be doing that as well, but they have a whole other service, which I really like. And I do have a profile with them. I have everything set up with them and I really should like start automating that, but I have other things that I use. I'm just so used to, but that comes with the Blueberry hosting program. Just so you know, the app I usually use, which again is free to make the videos that are on my Instagram, Facebook, and LinkedIn is headliner. And again, every single thing I do for my business, except for like production and web design, I do for my phone. Everything else I set up to be automated for my desktop, so I don't even touch it. I have emails that come to me or alerts through the apps when something doesn't work and it doesn't follow through with what it's supposed to do. So then I get an alert and then I fix the problem or figure out like why it didn't work. One that I've been using for years, if this then that, IFTTT has always been zero, zero dollars. This app is my whole marketing funnel. Now, a couple months ago, I started paying $4 a month just because I wanted to start developing my own applets, which they call them in recipes. So basically I tell one thing to go some, like I, if, if this, meaning if I want to post on LinkedIn needs to go to Twitter, if this, then that. So you create like your little recipe and then they're called applets. So I was developing my own, but then IFTTT and Pinterest had some issue and I use Pinterest for all of my SEO stuff. So it's no longer syncing. So I'm like, why am I going to pay? I know it's only $4, but I am being so strict with my money lately. So honestly, I really should downgrade my repurpose to 10 instead of 25 as well. Every dollar counts because if I'm going to live this bi-coastal life, I need to really watch what I'm spending. And that goes for all of my business money as well as my personal. Every day I've been tracking what I when I swipe my cards every single day. I did an episode last month on my budget and credit repair. I'm going to do another one because people keep asking me. And so I wanted to track it myself. And the most money I spend is going out. And I go out to happy hour. I'm like, how did I blow hundreds of dollars what a happy hour. It's insane. So if you actually track every single day, you'll be surprised where you're blowing your money. I highly suggest it. But again, I'm going to do a whole new episode on that. But when it comes to um, Pinterest and IFTTT, you know, I was paying the $4 as a developer, but I'm like, well, now that Pinterest is out of the game right now, like, why am I going to pay the four? So I cancel it. So I just have limited things that I'm using. And LinkedIn was on one of them, which I was so excited about because for years it wasn't. So I actually have to check that today because I feel like it wasn't syncing up and I didn't get an alert. So you always want to make sure your apps are refreshed on your phone. I back my phone up every single night when it's on Wi-Fi, when I'm sleeping. Just um, a side tip for you, a little side note. But um So I'm back at a zero cost for IFTTT. Now, when it comes to needing help, like say you launched your show like I did and you did everything yourself and you're like, shit, I did these things wrong because I did so many things wrong. I had no idea what the hell I was doing. I literally taught myself everything I know right now. Everything. I didn't take a school. I didn't go to a course because when I launched, nobody had anything like that. Now everybody has everything like that. But if you're looking to relaunch or rebrand or just launch a new show, market monetize, SEO is so important, especially when it comes to titling your episodes and syndicating them, the production and the development that like that can wait the production side, but the content, writing the scripts, making sure everything is royalty free. If you do get stuck or you do need to elevate your experience or really just like learn more for years, I've been asked to put together a school. And I honestly did not have the time. 
And what I did when I went through my rebrand and I took a couple months off from recording for you guys is I did just that. And I did the same thing with LinkedIn, two LinkedIn courses actually. And then my podcasting course, because your podcast production is a complete done for you podcast service. You literally just tell me what you need and I develop the entire show and we get on calls and we become best friends. And if you don't believe me, you can read all, every single one of my reviews. It's on my website. I'll leave in the link, link it in the show notes. I pride myself on providing the absolute best service for my clients. And if something goes wrong, I fix it immediately. That's just my work ethic. That's just always how I've worked. Like I really don't know any different or want to work any different really to be honest with you, but something that I didn't have was something that if you want to learn on your own or you're like, okay, I really need to up my game. I don't have 20 hours to spare in my day. Like I'm the queen of productivity. Like that's not going to work. So I had to sit down with myself and put something together. Like how is this program going to be the absolute best for somebody that was in my shoes? Like where I was a couple of years ago, I needed help. But again, with every single thing I create, I make it completely different. It's so unique and there's nothing like it that you'll ever find because first of all, you get one-on-one time with me, but then you can also learn at your own speed and you have a complete audio library that you can always refer back to that things are constantly getting added to as well as videos. There's nothing like this. And the reason why I did it this way, I needed an on-demand audio experience. I needed tutorials when it came to production Because I would have clients that did my little coaching calls years ago and they would understand everything and do it and they felt confident. But then when it came to production or visually like having to learn something, like how to sync the apps together, like you can't see that on YouTube. Like nobody's doing something like that. So I incorporated video lessons as well. So you have an on-demand audio experience where you can go through all the files at your own time, learn or even elevate your whole podcasting experience, but it's going to teach you how to launch, market, monetize, like literally everything you need to know about podcasting. Start your podcast today. We'll teach you that. But then when you get stuck and you need a visual, guess what you do? You shoot me a text and you're like, I don't know how to do this part. And I have a whole entire content library of video that I share with you. And so if you get stuck on like one piece, I hop on my computer I show, I turn on my video. It's the software that I invested in a while ago and you get your own personalized videos. There's nothing like that. And then on top of that, you get one-on-one time with me, coaching calls. Like how amazing is that? So this way I'm able to help more podcasters or more producers or more marketers or management of shows really elevate their podcast so that more people can hear their message because the more people that hear you, the more people that you can help. Whether it's by laughter, with your business message, with your branding, with your store, your stories, anything that you're sharing, the more ways that you can incorporate into your show now, the better experience it will be for everybody. And you'll feel more comfortable, but you're at the end of the day helping more people. And really, that's the whole point of it, right? Or just to enjoy the experience and not be stressed the hell out because you don't know how to produce a freaking file. (laughs) because I've been there too. So I wanted to share that with you. And then also on my Kellyanne Gorman site, which I'll link in the show notes, I have a page called Brand Deals. And those are all the companies that I'm an affiliate for. I mentioned a lot of them today. So you get a deal, I get a kickback, and then you can sign up to become an affiliate and then put that link in your show notes and start making money today. Literally make money from the day you launch your show. Your show. Or if you're upgrading your podcast experience from your next episode. There's three main ways that you can make money from your show. One is driving traffic to your website so that you can sell your own products, goods, services, programs, whatever you're selling. Another way is by companies investing for commercial spots, running ads. And then another way is affiliate links, e-commerce, whatever it is, any link. Every month, I get money put into my account from all of the affiliates that are listed on that page. And it's an excellent way for you to do the same. I've done so many episodes on this, and I have TikToks on it as well. Find your favorite products. Find your favorite business tools. Find your favorite productivity apps, your credit building accounts. 
I'm an affiliate for so many companies like this and every month I'm making money. You can do the exact same thing. If you scroll through my TikTok feed, I literally show you for free how to do this. If you're incorporating, you know, if you want to invest in something and you want to um, start a side hustle or just obsess with passive income, starting an e-commerce brand like myself, like that's an excellent way. Anything that you can do once and consistently make an income, that is passive income. For example, my book, my podcast, my merchandise line, all the products and digital tools that I've created. I specifically designed it like this. This is why I took a break from the show so that I could do that and then teach more people how I just did that. Like that is my mission. So if you want more free content, head to my TikTok. There are so many videos and I usually film like one or two times a week and then I film an hour or two and it pushes out and um, I'll film about a week or two of content and then I'll push them out the following days and alternate them. I have a whole method to my madness. So if you're somebody that creates content and you need to film, I also have a lot of videos on how I do it. I mean, I change my hair, my makeup, my clothes, all of it. And I film in my studio, which I built for under a hundred dollars. So that is podcasting studio where I film. Everything is there. I have six to eight backdrops. I have headphones. I have mics. I have lighting. I'm still trying to find a silent fan. I have everything I need for studio. So if that's something that you're interested, again, I have more free content for you on my Instagram. That is like a 20 minute video I did on IG live. That is now an Instagram IGTV video. Yeah, I saved it. It's IGTV. I have like a orange tie dye hoodie on. It's probably my last one. Yeah, it's the last video I uploaded. So search for that. If you want to know how I designed my studio and where I got everything. Literally $100. It took me about a month to put the studio together exactly the way that I want it, which would be like perfect. But um, I was going to stores and trying things and returning shit, you know, the whole deal. Like that's so annoying. That took more time than actually putting it together, (laughs) running around. But um, I wanted to share that too, because if you're looking for, you know, a studio, maybe your phone doesn't have good quality voice and sound and you are not best in production and you don't have the money to invest in one of my courses or somebody else's, then maybe you just need a studio with some serious foam action and just set that up. So again, there's a free video for you that literally I show you how to do the exact same thing that I did. I'm just here to help you level up in your business and life. So whether that's business, podcasting, LinkedIn, healthy recipes, I'm just going to continuously share it all because that's what makes me feel good and helping more people as many as I can, whether it's with my book, my content, like that just makes me happy. So the last thing I wanted to share with you is that because you are listening today, I will give you a special code. It's everything is messy 20. And if you have the money and if you want to invest and you really want to upgrade your show or you need a whole development service, that will give you 20% off my services. So if you head to everythingismessy.com, you will see it right there. Everything I mentioned today will be in the show notes. You can click around on my site and like really investigate. I research everything to a T. So if you're on the fence and you really, really, really want to go to Libsyn, but you want to check out Blueberry, just do your research. That is the number one piece of advice I can give you today is do your research. I've done so much research that I can promise you everything I told you today is fact. And this show is four and a half years old. So I know what I'm doing. And I've done it all. And these are the best tips and tricks that I can share with you today. One, because your investment in a show, unless you are investing in somebody like me or somebody else, that's a whole podcast development company done for you service or a school and a course, your cost is like nothing to start. So just start and then save up your money and then take it to the next level. But I think that's all I wanted to share with you today. Oh, Uh, No, that's it. So if you, and again, if you have any questions and you're like, I really want to like invest in this. I think it's like, I listened to this episode for a reason. I want to talk with you more. Just send me a message on Instagram or Facebook or TikTok. You know where to find me. You can even comment on this video if you're listening on my website, but also, oh, there is one more thing. How could I forget this? I'm giving away a signed copy of Everything is Messy, the book, as well as the digital ebook every single Friday. So I'm choosing somebody that leaves a comment on Apple Podcasts, on Audible, wherever you're listening to this episode right now. 
make sure you rate, review, and subscribe. Leave me a comment and a review, and I will randomly select one of you, and you will get a free signed copy of my book, and I will also email you the digital one as well. So if you're looking on your phone and you want to create some healthy recipes and you're in your kitchen living your best life, that will help. I think that's it. That's all I have to share. And then again, if you do rate, review, subscribe, and leave that comment, the review, that will again put you into the drawing to win a copy of my book every Friday, but also screenshot that and tag me online so I see it because sometimes it takes a day or two to kick in. So that is it. That is what I wanted to share. And if you have a friend or a colleague, a business partner that really is on the fence with starting a podcast, this is literally the best thing. Podcasting has changed my life. I have so much free content available on the internet, especially on my TikTok. Send them there or just send me, have them send me a message. Cause honestly, like I'm just here to help you. So if you need any more questions answered, if you're ready to dive in to a course that will help you and you're on your own, but then you get one-on-one time with me, start your podcast today is exactly what you're going to want. Again, it's 20% off just for you. And then if you want a complete podcast development program, that's done for you service, I only take one show a month. So make sure you send me a message. You'll most likely not be able to check out um, if I've already sold um, that to a client for the month. They sell out every single month. I'm only doing one show a month because I'm working and developing a lot of other things that you will be hearing about very, very soon. I always share those with my newsletter list. So if you don't receive my newsletter, you can sign up. Um, The link will be in the show notes or just go to Um, everythingismessy.com or kellyannegorman.com. The link is there and then you can sign up and then you'll be the first to know about all the exciting things I've been working on. I love when I get to share with my email list first. So that's where you need to go for that. But again, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, you know where to find me. I hope that you have a great week and I will talk to you again soon. Thanks so much for tuning in to Everything is Messy, the podcast. If you enjoyed what you heard today, I would love to know. Just leave me a review on the app or website you're listening on. To learn more about myself, join the community, read my book, or shop the collection, visit everythingismessy.com. While you're there, be sure to sign up to receive my weekly newsletter so you get all my announcements first. For all the behind the scenes and day-to-day content, follow along on Instagram at Kellyanne Gorman Official and Everything is Messy Collection. Links are in the show notes. If you have a product, brand, story, or service, you would like to share, send me a message on everythingismessy.com today. As always, thanks for listening, sharing, and reviewing. It truly means the world to me. Wishing you a happy, healthy, positive, and productive day, and I'll talk to you again soon. Everything is Messy is produced and syndicated under A Million Dreams Publishing. For more information on how you can launch your own book, podcast, or digital series, visit amilliondreamspublishing.com.